Hello, my friends. I'm going to share another journal with you today. This is one that I just completed, and it's lots of vintagey colors and vintagey images, and I'm very pleased with it. The actual journal measures five and a half by seven and a half inches, and I placed it inside of a book. I covered the book with wallpaper. Now I'm fighting against partial sunshine and April-like weather, so I hope that uh, some of the sliding and whatnot will participate with being good today. So on the cover, I have a little bit of uh, corrugated uh, paper and a little vintage image. I love her. I think she's so sweet. Vintage flower, hand-dyed tags, and mother of pearl button. It says, with love. And to keep it closed, I have this uh, seam binding ribbon. Everything is done in, uh, like I said, more of a vintage sepia tone uh, effect throughout it. And I'm sorry about the sunshine uh, casting shadows, but hopefully I can get through this with you. So on the inside, I also used a coordinating wallpaper. And then there is this lace that has been added and it lifts so that you could essentially kind of, you know, tuck something loosely behind there. On this page, I've got some uh, character construction papers and a little journal card that you can take up and down with a little nest egg there and some washi tape again that says with love little copper paper clip and then we go over to one of the other pages washi tape a little bit of ephemera and pattern papers and then I have some specialty papers also uh, this isn't quite a mulberry, but it's a heavy texture like that. And this, you could add your own little journaling or envelopes or whatever. And I left the tags plain. Then I added some of the scraplings that I made last week and shared with you as a project. And that can lift up. And then journaling can be done inside or photos and whatnot. And everything has been super uh, put down with double-sided tape. So it's super secure. Now this particular paper is from a book that was reprinted in 1967. And what it is, is an 1898 Sears catalog. And they redid it in 1967. So it has the graphics of the 1898 ads, but it has the vintageness of 1967. And a little piece there with some washi. Again, more ephemera. Uh, this is a antique ledger that I have. And then you could put more photos or whatever you would like to put there. Some vintage ephemera from 1914. And old dictionary pages. And then some specialty paper behind there. And then the with love is kind of coordinated with the rest of the washies. Old sheet music. More coffee stained and stamped tags. And then this little girl is like my new favorite. I think she's so cute. I love her little pinafore that she has on too. 
on this, I have one of my other art projects that I shared with you a few weeks ago. And this has a tag that can come out. I hand stamped uh, the bag. And that again has tags that come out that you can journal on. That you could add other little things to tuck in there. More washi tape. More reproduction Sears catalog. And on this page, I just kind of added some old uh, book, an uh, old book page that I went along the edge there. And uh, you can use the pattern paper to adhere things to. This little sweetness, she could be uh, journaled on the back because these are all removable too, or you could leave her there and add your own items. Some more character construction paper. And another specialty paper. Um, and then I have another of my little scrap lengths that I mounted with double-sided tape so that it's really in there. Sorry about the sun casting the shadow the way it is right now. More character construction paper. And again, and all the papers have been mounted to a craft cardstock. That's what I made the actual base of the pages from. So it's nice and sturdy. Washi tape and then a pattern paper. And this is a specialty paper. It's mulberry, but it's been embossed. It's really beautiful. The page behind the cardstock is blank. So you can do with what you wish. And this is another image that I fell in love with. Too. I think it's so sweet. And some hymnal music. And all that's loose so you can play with it as you will. More Sears catalog. A different type of specialty paper. This has more of like a, I, I would call it more like a dance or a floor de lay type. Then I have this uh, little journal card like what I made with you a few weeks ago. And you can tuck things in there. Now this little fella is a Tim Holtz and he's one of the larger ones. And I had made these jumbo tags. He has a dog too. Um, jumbo tags and he's been mounted with double sided tape so he's on there securely and more specialty paper and this unfolds it's that vintage ledger paper that I have and more character construction paper and more Sears and Roebuck. We're getting almost to the end here. This little girl, I think she's a sweetie too. She's playing Cats in the Cradle. Some more printed uh, whoops, ephemera that I printed on my computer. And then with this item, what I did is I have a giant envelope and then I have some German book text and then this is just reprinted um, and these are both loose. But the giant envelope you could basically put wherever you wanted to but I just selected this page. And it's just paper clipped on to the specialty paper. A little bit of washi at the bottom. And then this 
you could journal in the windows or you can just add your own items and then I have more lace at the back and it's a it, it's a I'll call it a chunky book it's not extra chunky but it's chunky and we have uh, the ribbon as I said to tie it shut I will be placing this as I did my last journal on my website until I figure out what I'm going to do. I, I th I'm leaning towards maybe thinking about uh, enrolling with Spotify and then just doing it directly on my website because I think uh, consumers feel a little bit more safe, although the PayPal Buy It Now is super secure. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed my journal called With Love and um, I'm hoping to bring you another project soon. This week is going to be a little crazy for me. There's a lot of personal um, things that are going on that are good, but they're going to be taking some of my time. So I'll elaborate on that more as May starts. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you for watching my video, and if you haven't liked or subscribed, please do. I'm trying to get more subscribers. Have a great day. Bye.